Poet and best-selling author, Ruby Core inspires people around the world with her powerful words. Core first rose to fame on Instagram in 2015 as a young and controversial voice of feminism. Now she uses social media to share her poetry with millions of followers. At just 25 years old, Core has already topped the New York Times bestseller list twice. Her first book, Milk and Honey, sold more than 3 million copies and was translated into more than 30 languages. Core's latest book, The Sun and Her Flowers, has already sold more than 1 million copies. We met at the Whitby Hotel in New York City to discuss her current world tour and successful career. There are mountains growing beneath our feet that cannot be contained. Rupi Kaur doesn't merely recite her poetry, she performs it. Bring your hammers and fists. We have a glass ceiling to shatter. Let's leave this place roofless. Which helps explain the rock star reception she typically receives. You've become sort of a global phenomenon in like two years. Mm. Yeah. Love is giving all we can. With crowds like this one in India and over 2.3 million more followers on Instagram, Rolling Stone named Core the queen of the Insta poets. What is an Insta poet? I feel like there's a group of many, many, many writers and people who are using Instagram as a platform to share their poetry. And this group of people has, they've been dubbed Insta poets and they've, I think, brought poetry into the mainstream. Before landing in the mainstream for her poetry, Core first gained notoriety after a controversial post on Instagram. This image of her posing with blood-stained sheets and pants was initially taken down by the social media site. People started to get angry, and I guess people were reporting it. And, like, and what began as a college art project became a clarion call for women's equality. It just turned from being like a small project to like my form of protest. If you had to kind of describe where women are right now in the midst of this Me Too movement. Mm -hmm. How would you describe that? I think that it's so incredible to see. I've seen things that I thought would never change, change. And so that's really exciting and I'm really proud and I want to honor sort of the women that came before me. From now on, I'll say things like, you are resilient and you are extraordinary, not because I don't think you're pretty, but because I realize that you are so much more than that. Writing is very cathartic, and I've used it as a tool to kind of take myself from a place of victim to survivor, because I don't want to be the victim. I'm not a victim. Kaur was just five years old when her parents moved her and her three siblings from India to Canada. In your new book, the sun and her flowers. Um, there's a poem called Broken English. Yes. And you talk about sort of being ashamed as a child of your immigrant parents. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think about the way my father pulled the family out of poverty without knowing what a vowel was. And my mother raised four children without being able to construct a perfect sentence in English. Do you that differently now? Oh my God, so different. <laughs> Growing up, it was like, mom and dad, my sole purpose in life is to be exactly like everybody else. I don't want to stand out. And so I put myself in their shoes and I was like, wow, like, I don't think I could have done it. You know, my dad being a refugee, my mom and I being immigrants, I couldn't do it, let alone raise four kids. And that's when I bro broke in English because I was like, wow, your life is art. It's not an embarrassment and you do belong here. Kaur also honors her native language of Punjabi by using only lowercase letters in her poems. The sole punctuation is an occasional period. Like anybody who does anything that garners a lot of attention, you garner critics. Yeah. And some have, have criticized your poetry as being simple mm -hmm. or simplistic. Yeah. And to that you say... Well, it is simple, and it is simplistic, and that's very purposeful for my end. I want readers to open up this book and start the poem and 
from beginning to end, I want the reading experience to be simple. But when they finish that poem, I want their stomach to turn. And then I want them to sit with that emotion and really work on that. Women of color, our backs tell stories that no books have the spine to carry. Do you see a lot of women like yourself, and I mean South Asian women, women of Indian descent, in art, entertainment, mm -hmm. on the spines of books? I see it happening more and more. Mm -hmm. I will say that when I was growing up, there were very, very few, and I actually didn't know any of them because I didn't even have access to them and they weren't, you know, front and center in my face sort of thing, um, although they were there. You know, when I was designing Milk and Honey, it was so important to see the word gore right on the spine. I didn't even want my first name on it. Mm -hmm. I just, every sick woman has that name. Right. And so I was like, when I want a seven-year-old to go into a bookstore and see her name on a book, because I never got that growing up. And it's like, if she sees that, she'll be able to see that she can do it too. So you heard what she said. She says, every sick woman has that name core. She means like, mm -hmm. or Sikh, the Sikh yeah. religion, but mm -hmm. it's, it's pr properly pronounced Sikh religion has the name core. Mm -hmm. And so she credits the, her faith really with giving her that inspiration. She says it means a great deal that she's now inspiring a lot of dung, young women of all different kinds of faiths to see their name in print too. I love that she's 25 and I love the realization that she had about her own mother and father. It's interesting how as a kid, you see them differently when you grow up and think, yeah, they're not so bad. And they're actually yep. kind of smart. I'm very impressed. Yeah. She is finding both her voice, and, yeah. and that's also a part of culture, too, because there are a lot of gatekeepers in poetry as well who want to keep out, and she went around that. Yeah. It's yeah. really her art. Yeah. I like the message. That it's simple, yes, it is, and purposeful. Yeah. Very important. I like her a lot. She is enormously popular.